The Viero Great American Comedy Festival kicked off Wednesday night with its amateur competition at the Johnny Carson Theater in Norfolk. The show, which was hosted by Dennis Collins of Norfolk, featured 12 comedians who earned a spot in the contest by winning in preliminary events. Wednesday's performers came in all shapes and uh, neck sizes and kept the audience in stitches for more than two hours. Uh, they brought me up here and they asked for my neck size. <laughs> I couldn't believe they did that to me. It's like they got my neck my shoes and in between shoes, I had to come up for air. <laughs> I get nervous. I make jokes. So when I got to the head of the security checkpoint at the Dubai airport, I put my bag down and went like this. I said, that's nothing. I took a public vow of celibacy. In a church, wearing a tuxedo. I heard this girl say, I knew I loved him when I could fart in front of him. That's total crap. I work in a restaurant. I'm constantly crop dusting people I can't stand all day long. <laughs> you don't see a mustache like that every day. So yes, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> Remember this. The children are like snowflakes. If you have too many, you'll be stuck in the house. these two large glass doors that slide open and when they do a couple random kids will run up to you and hug you and say it's okay that you missed their birthday so it's pretty awesome there. North Dakota, our sheep are shaved. <laughs> do you like crystal meth? You'll love North Dakota. Now the Americans think of traditional Ukrainian names. They think of like Dimitri, Vladimir, Thomas Bastard. <laughs> His name's kind of hard to pronounce. My brother's name is, um, Mike. Uh, Carrie Underwood's been in the news recently. She is no longer being played on Ottawa, Canada radio because her husband got traded to Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, so I'm offering a trade to Canada. Justin Bieber! Audience members voted for their favorite amateur comedian. In the end, Jim Maxwell, a father of six from Omaha, walked away with the trophy, a $500 prize, and a consultation with festival producer Eddie Brill. Hey, what do strippers wear on casual Fridays? <laughs> hey, the relaxed fit foam? The denim castles? I, I don't know. Preliminary rounds for the professional comedians will begin Thursday evening and continue on Friday evening. The winners of the preliminary competition will compete at the finals on Saturday, where funny man Louis Anderson and comedian Cloris Leachman will perform. Reporting from the Norfolk Daily News from the Vero Great American Comedy Festival at the Johnny Carson Theater in Norfolk, Nebraska, I'm Katherine Harris.